cost me 200 prestige. I could... Do I need the prestige to start the war? I'll, I'll need it to call in an ally, although I think I can go negative. I think it's okay. Sorry, Halco. We're not going to jump on them immediately. I'm... You're giving me a position... Chancellor! Is it because you're so shit at diplomacy? I, I accept, of course. This is you, allegedly. Yeah, you know, screw it. I'm going to leave the combat. I'm brave, after all. Double chance of dying. If I die, I start playing as Halco. There's my ally. There he is. Get your ass over here. Lawfully imprison her. Oh, oh, she's a fornicator. Now let's pardon her. With the opinion boost. Excellent. All right, let's go. Massive superior numbers. I will lead the battle. All right, the siege has begun. <clears throat> Would Halco inherit Lil? I think so, yeah. Because he's currently my heir. We're each other's heir. Whoever... If one of us dies, the other one gets both things. Maybe we, uh, maybe we shouldn't have all these court positions, but... Oh, um... 80% this chance to seduce my wife. What about romance? 55%. Well, we could seduce first and then romance after. Those are really good odds, considering my huge penalty to freaking attraction. Jeez. Please don't kill me after the war. Yeah, I don't wanna. Oh, you know. All right. We've imprisoned Halco. Go to your room. Enforce the demands. Disband the troops. Gain legitimacy from that. Apparently that's how it works. Now, I'm assuming... Yeah, I, I was going to say, I'm assuming you've been released as part of the peace deal. Hello, Intrigue. Where's this kind of going to go? Who does he belong to? He's just going to stay in my realm? Well, we'll recruit him. Um, we're going to hold off on the hunts for a little while. You know, oh, invitations. Grand tournament. I may not arrive in time. Okay. So, brother. You're just in my court now, right? Yeah. You got some claims and stuff. You don't even hate me that much. Look at this. Still plus 25. Sibling, tight knit. You got the Confederate partition, which you approve of. Okay. This guy released would actually be a better spy master. Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, a gift for my wife. Um. Hmm. Not every gift has to be a grand statement of wealth. Smaller things can make a far greater impression as long as they're chosen well. I wonder what Countess Berta would appreciate. A silver locket always close to her heart. I think she likes to catch people's attention, or just things that glimmer. Oh, you have gout. Ugh. You're ambitious, stubborn, and lustful. A stuffed fox would certainly be unusual. Symbols of authority. A flowery display for the garden. Likes tending things, at least appreciates beauty. Yeah, 
Ambition, stubborn, lustful. I mean, the authority over life itself, I'm wondering if ambitious might be a go, but otherwise I'm thinking maybe flower display based on like lustful and pretty. Silver locket. Catch people's attention. Actually, maybe that makes the most sense. Let's go silver locket. She liked it! Thank you so much for the silver lock you gave me. Scars remember the last time I received such a wonderful gift. Excellent. Okay. Roger. I don't like that you don't like me that much. But you would be an excellent spy master. I think we have to go and make this swap. Now, he's going to like me more that I've made him a counselor. We may have to go and throw a sway at him when we get an option. We're going to finish seducing our wife first, though. Can this wound go away, please? Um, we need to raise control in Boulogne. Okay. The 39 learning person was assigned to be my court tutor. Yes. Which is going to reap huge benefits once we get some kids. What does this war I can do? Hold on. Oh, reading in the barony of Lil. Something pious. I don't think she wants something pious. Let's be entertained. Or informative. Let's be entertained. East of Indus. The clerk drones on and on. I can tell Berta's attention is slipping. Ah, while I'm thinking of how to salvage the situation, my suffraging bishop, Yi, suddenly chimes in and asks, may I humbly suggest we read stories from the holy book instead? And Berta immediately perks up with renewed interest. Oh, awkward. Oh my god, I, just, I want to check this, but we got too many pop-ups. My bishop, Guy, has received a significant donation of gold from the estate of a wealthy but childless landowner, now deceased. He claims the departed lived a very frugal and pious life and wished for the gold to go where it could do good. Guy insists that I receive part of the donation as I'm a paragon of Catholicism in Lille. Tempting offer indeed. Option one, I promise the gold will serve the realm. 15 bucks. This paragon deserves the entire donation. Um, 80 stress critical because I'm temperate. Let's not go there. Please give it to the poor in my name. Big opinion boost from my bishop. Lots of piety. What's 15 gold going to do for us? I mean, money is money. Hmm. Chat wants three. I like three. I think it vibes. Ooh, we can ask our head of faith for claims. That's interesting, but King of Navarra reclaim relics war. And he's bankrupt. I would have to call in my ally. You take ownership of all Christian artifacts that are held by King Fortin and their non-Christian vassals. Oh, we don't have the prestige for it. Okay, let's just hold tight. <clears throat> need a hospice from this pandemic <gasps> promote I can promote someone else's legend uh, can I oh, over here someone else is working in the heirs of, of uh, Charlemagne so A can I and B why would I Start promoting. I can promote Prince Ermintrude of West Francia. I don't think I care. <clears throat> no, I don't have a court for the boar's head. I'm very disappointed by that. Man, we lost a lot of tempo by getting killed by the boar there. You are fair man, Bullpidge, but I do not like the... I do not like you that way, says Countess Burst and crossed her arm. Only God knows what the future might hold for me. Oh, did we fail to seduce our wife? Damn it. And I can't do the romance scheme either. We could do a sway, and I may, but let's go and sway our spy master first. Mm. Yeah, we had an 80% chance when we started. That's really disappointing. And she liked our gift. She didn't care for the book we picked, but still. Okay, we really need to make a bebe, though. Please. More alliances.
I mean, maybe I should have swayed her for a little while first. Because a, a better opinion, I think, would have affected the seduction. <clears throat> Why not make your ex-spy master your steward? Do you really need the mayor? Well, I'm just kind of... I guess maybe not. I mean, she's not... The best steward would be Othon over here at a 12. 9 versus a 12. It's a difference, but is it a huge difference? Maybe. I don't know. So, well, we don't have any kids yet. Maybe we take the befriend scheme first. Can I befriend my wife? Actually, maybe should I befriend the spy master? How um how old is this guy? 48. Let's let a tick of the sway go through. And then consider doing some befriending. Oh! I'm the brave! Count Volpage the brave! That's great! It's on the lips of peasants and noble alike. Cause for celebration, I think, Bird exclaims with a cheery tone. I can get used to that. Opinion boost from her. And we gain a bunch of prestige, which is good because we need it. Count Volpage the brave. Better than Count Volpage the deformed. The horribly nasty or something, you know? Solen. Fabricate, uh, fornicator. She's not important to us. I don't know, maybe we just won't get involved. Household savings. We gained 50 bucks. Your spouse's good stewardship led to this windfall. Fantastic. All right. Sway one worked. Let's cancel this. Friends with him? Maybe. He's even ambitious. Yeah, okay. Let's befriend. Now... Potentially friends might get a boost to, you know, being able to do nasty things to us because we trust them, but let's try to befriend the high intrigue, ambitious fella. Decrease the chance that maybe he tries to do something nasty, but I would like to befriend Berta. War declared on Liege. Your Liege won the war with, okay, leader, okay. All right, money going up, that's good. I wonder about claim fabrication. Well, although we can ask our head of faith for the Duchy of Flanders. So I guess the first question is, Boo Boo over here, how strong is he? He's got a thousand troops on his own. He's got a bunch of alliances. Hmm. Not sure we can really make this play happen. No, we don't have the thing there. Uh, I'm not going to spend a bunch of money. I thought that counts. No, we don't. We don't have the claim over here. It wasn't pressed. It's an unpressed claim that we got, so it didn't carry over to us. <clears throat> All right, let's start fabricating. Because if we get three, then we can just um, user. What? Opinion loss. We could do the war for the artifacts. They they do seem straight. Actually, it went away. Maybe someone else did it already. I wouldn't have anywhere to show off the artifacts anyway. Maybe it's not that kind of artifact. Maybe it's just a gain a bunch of piety artifact, but still. Ooh, critical stress. Loses progress. This this friendship stuff has proven to be quite difficult. Um, we don't have the ability to meditate and burn off some stress. Oh, we gained a level of devotion. That's nice. <clears throat> Maybe I should do a hunt just for recreation. Or do we do a pilgrimage? and gain the Pilgrim trait as early as possible. I think we do this. Less likely, to, it's not gonna lose a bunch of stress, but 
I think that's a good idea. Uh, we'll go for Pious Pilgrimage. I like the idea of going to the Vatican. Alder or Caravan Master. I think these are mountains that are... Very dangerous here. Mountaineers. There you go. That's looking a lot better. And let's just say some guards. Reflection. Relieve stress. Altruism. Zealotry. Yeah, let's go for reflection. We could customize it, but this seems fine. Good direct route. Gonna cost us 69 bucks. Very nice. These are a lot more expensive, right? Oh, no cost. Oh! Oh, this makes it slower, but more piety. I see. Pomp. Okay. I think this is fine. Okay. Pilgrimage, a fresh start. All while preparing for my journey, I have this sense of serenity and knowing that everything will be all right. I'm pleased to embark on this pilgrimage to Roma and or in order to get closer to God. Also, try some gelato. And now more than ever, I feel certain that he will watch over me on my travels. Reflections, the empires of yesteryear. Wandering this path, I have encountered many reminders of those who came before me. Here in Tournai, I see reminders of those who inhabited this land before us, long before us. Old temples, broken weapons, random fractures of objects beyond recognition. Time claims us all, and the deities we worship and the way in which we worship them is always in flux. Perhaps one day, mm, tiramisu, I don't personally care for tiramisu. Oh, custom route for a point of interest. Oh yeah, maybe I just, let's point out, next time there, we are going somewhere, maybe point out a point of interest to check out. Like, do we swing by Notre Dame? Is it built? Mm. Perhaps one day, some other man will wander this path and contemplate the fallen county of Lille and the Catholic faith practiced by its count. I should contemplate old empires. Right away burns off stress and gives us a piety. A chance to lose even more stress and get internal contemplation. Or I could contemplate ancient faiths. If it's successful, godly contemplation, open-minded perk, or culture acceptance. Is that permanent? Well, that's quite nice. Yeah, okay, probably try that. And I still lose stress regardless. We could lose more stress with option one, but I like two. What'd you miss? Why do you have a mask on? Well, this, so first of all, our character from Monday died, Jolly Roger, uh, hunting a boar. Uh, and then when we were, I, we were still a kid here, right? We were, what, 15 years old? The measles rampaged through our territory, and our physician decided that the best way to cure us of a measle was to cut off her face. So that's a thing. It's called fashion, sweetie. Look it up. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> All right, reflections and earthly contemplation. Oh, we're going to get stress and stress. Along the path to the Holy Land, I've met all kinds of pilgrims, both young and old. It's as if I'm witnessing a tapestry of my old life play out before me. I still have much life left to live, yet it all seems so short when faced with the concept of eternity. Perhaps I have to stop a while and contemplate life's brevity. So I'll make the most out of my time. Pilgrimage becomes more pious. It slows us down. Okay, sort of coin flippy, but a little in our favor to lose some stress and become determined. More XP. Or these ideas make my heart ache. Oh, we would just flat out gain stress because we're patient. I guess we're going with option one and hope we don't gain 40 freaking stress from this trip that's supposed to reduce our stress. Oh, thank you. Determine is really nice. The Tears of St. Nicholas. Even when on a pilgrimage, the priests still hold mass every Sunday. It is held out in the open when, when no church is nearby, but early this morning, a storm rolled in and has not ceased. Undeterred, a zealous priest is standing out in the pouring rain, giving a sermon about perseverance in the face of adversity. Despite this, the size of his audience is rapidly dwindling and discouraged adherents seek refuge from the torrential rain. What is a little rain to the faithful Catholic? 25% chance of us becoming ill. Or forget this madness, I'll be in my tent. I'm brave. <sighs> brave equals stupid, right? <laughs> All right. That's how we lost our face. Okay, we didn't become sick. Woo! 
The end is nigh! Oh no. As my party passes through a small town, I notice a throng of people filling the market square. At the center, a man stands on an overturned fish cart, shouting wildly to all who will listen. The day of judgment is nigh! Repent! Repent, I say, or you shall be damned for all eternity. The worried-looking townsfolk nervously whisper to each other, fearful, fearful of the doomsayer's words. I sure am glad this pilgrimage comes with indulgence. So burn off some more stress. Or that man is not a priest. Cast him down. Ooh, we become more pious. Our stress is nearly gone. So I think we can afford option two. Pilgrimage becomes more pious and we gain some piety. I, the end is nigh. I envy your optimism. <laughs> Where's that response? All right, well, we're in Italy now anyway. I need an espresso. Uh, I've noticed that... Who are you? My Kniggit. That Prel... Oh, this event. Prelamir avoids me more than usual. He always sits at the opposite end of the table whenever we're invited to a feast and consistently refuses my company while camping. We may not have the best of relationships, but that attitude is starting to tire me, especially when I overhear him defaming me. Volpage is a cold-hearted sycophant. I'd be a way better count than him. So we're still wounded. We do have five... Um, Prowess. He's got a four. A brave equals stupid, right? You want to know how it is? I'll show you. Prowess challenge. It's not great. Oh, and if we lose, we become severely injured? Safe treatment might lessen my pain temporarily. I have a few ways. Not one. Baldor, take care of it. You're going to end your days in a dungeon. Just imprison him. Fair reason. No one will think of me as a tyrant. Get out of my sight now. What's the wind I hear? I think we just imprisoned this guy. Screw this guy. Travel, language barrier. Seems our caravan has become a little lost in these foreign lands. Baldur has been trailing us around Aronkaglia for hours, and though he is n he at last swallowed his pride and asked for directions, he does not appear to be an expert in Italian vulgar speaker. Let me try. Diplomacy and learning challenge. We have a chance. We successfully interpret the instructions. Buongiorno. You gain some uh, prestige and we gain some progress towards our next destination. Very nice. All right, you here. leave you in prison for a little while. <clears throat> Starry skies! Out here late at night, I sometimes look at the stars and wonder, what is our purpose in life? You pass the butter. Can God even see me this far from home? What am I doing all this for? It's my sacred duty, of course. Pilgrimage becomes more pious. Gain delicate pilgrim for 10 years. Or, what does it say? What I truly want is to enjoy and experience other cultures. Lose some stress. We still have a little. Secular pilgrimage. Pilgrimage has taught this character much about the world. Personal scheme success chance increased. So this will help with making friendships, sway, seduction. Or I do no more than required my position. Theatrical pilgrimage. I think I want the pilgrimage to become more pious. My sacred duty. <laughs> duty. <laughs> duty. I'm clicking it. We're almost at Rome. All roads lead to Rome. Pilgrims flock to Rome from all over the Christian world. Some follow the Via Francigena. Is that Francigena? Others take less known, less well-known paths. In the end, we all converge here at St. Peter's Basilica, where the great man himself was put to rest. Standing here with the other pilgrims, I sense a feeling of solemn unity and fellowship shared amongst the gathered, all having overcome various trials and tribulations among their journey. I've walked the holy path. We are now going to gain the pilgrim trait. All members of your entourage get it, and we lose a little bit more stress. Well, there you go. Piousness achieved, tier two. Done and done. Roaming around Rome. Mm hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Still, still dealing with. I'm probably going to be coughing for like the next month after this stupid illness. Ah. Oh, I, I've healed. I've healed from my wound. I'm now just scarred, gaining that prestige and attraction opinion. I like how like scarred is a like a path that can level up. 
The markets of Vaticano are bustling with merchants shouting in languages I've never heard and selling spices I've never tasted. The guide of the pilgrim, learn the safest routes, discover the marvels of Vaticano. One of them yells, waving a small book in my direction. I'll take one. Pay five bucks, become the owner of the pilgrim's guide. So another trinket, plus one diplomacy, piety boost. Well, that's not bad. And the pilgrimage gains local expert for travel safety. Or, oh, I don't have enough learning in diplomacy. God shall guide me. Now, I'm going to take the book. During our pilgrimage to Roma, I can't help but return to the local market, perusing the wares. One stand in particular catches my attention. The merchant grins at me and proclaims, I have the wares if my lord has the coin. These exotic goods presented would surely make a nice profit back home, or maybe I could even save them as a gift. This lot seems a wise investment. Purchase the exotic goods. I pay 15 bucks and I gain exotic wares that we can sell at home for profit. Or worldly possessions, how mundane. You know what? I think we're gonna try to make a, make a cash. A Khajiit in the skies, exactly. I guess we could change our intent now. Maybe a little more zealotry. Ooh, perk available. Yes, please. We still don't have any kids. Each friend lowers the amount of stress. Huh. I'm going to start investing on the kid side, though, and hope something happens. I suppose if we go on these pilgrimages, it's not terribly helpful for making babies. I don't know. Maybe absence will make the heart grow fonder. Probably loads of places selling relics of the True Cross, Saint's Bones, yeah. There's only so much a man can pray without looking for other equally important ways. Can I change my route on the way home? Okay. Um, spend one time. And Pope Lucius has a lovely residence that he so kindly allows me to visit. I hear some voices come from one of the rooms. And in doing this, you'd achieve the greatest technique. I peek inside and see Farah explaining his craft to a group of interested courtiers who eagerly follow his teachings. So again, I don't have enough diplomacy to take option B. One accomplished master, I should hire him. Spend 15 bucks. Cheaper employ characters with an obligation hook. I gain a weak hook on Farah. He joins my court. I gain a rivalry with the Pope. Let's not have a rivalry going on with the Pope, shall we? That seems like a terrible idea. Person's not enough of a risk to risk the fury of Pope. Yeah. So. Okay, customize route. Okay, so after we leave the Vatican, where should we go? What points of interest should we visit? Oh, wait. Is this it? When visited, you gain experience? Is this what you mean? Oh, shit. So we're going to gain diplomatic experience by going through Milano. Oh, that's really good. Now, we could go through some of these others, even if it's not what we're currently working on. After Lombardia, I could go to Aachen. How much is this changing, you know, my travel time? And we may as well uh, go to Frankfurt first on the way. Why do these have different symbols? They're both diplomacy lifestyle. I guess this one's just because it's a court. I'm not going to go all the way to Venice. Feels a little out of the way. Okay, this is actually really handy. Thank you for pointing this out. Main reason I spam, spam pilgrimages. No cooldown. Oh. Genoa was martial lifestyle, which I don't know if we're going to pursue. I mean, I guess it doesn't necessarily add too much. Six months... It doesn't add too much, and who knows, maybe we'll benefit from it. And we'll go through Rome first. All right, I'm calling that good enough. Cairo? <laughs> That's just, yeah. We're touring the entire world. It did, it is adding a little bit of time, but I think we're okay. Okay. That's cool. Pilgrimage conclusion. As our time at the sacred site draws 
to an end, I'm satisfied knowing that most, if not all, my decisions throughout our respectable and well-paced journey has taken to prove my devotion to the Lord and Christianity. This being my first pilgrimage, and while no pilgrimage is exactly alike, I feel confident that I'm more familiar with what to expect from this type of journey in the future. Roma, it has been an honor. Finished pilgrimage. Around the world in ADs, let's go. See, now I want to play that. I'm still bitter that I couldn't play it the other day because I didn't have the voice. All right, visit the capital of the Papacy. Diplomacy points. Roma, Kaiser's Needle. At the distance, the city of Roma is a forest of towers and a maze of stone buildings. As we approach, the scenery shifts. Ruins of monuments, walls, and ancient churches coexist with farms and grazing animals. As we stop before a great obelisk, a local recounts that at the top, Julius Caesar's ashes rest in a small round box. <clears throat> in death, as in life, Caesar is elevated above all of Romans. My court physician, Lutold, adds that we should learn more about the city. So, whoa, 80 stress. Think about how fragile life is. Whole point of this trip was to reduce stress. I must know more about the city that once was. Okay, this is a coin flip. We succeed. It does give us discount on buildings, but we don't have that many buildings we can build right now. I will not waste time in any place. I think I'm going to go with option three in this particular case. Look at the first one, the perk it gives. The writing history perk. You can take the commission epic decision. I mean, that is cool, but it's only 15% chance. And two, begin 5% discount on buildings? I mean, admittedly, it's not a lot of stress. Hmm. And it delays us by two weeks. Now, just gonna move. Go. <clears throat> Poetry, people. My lord, my lord, please, but a moment of your time to hear my latest poem. This isn't the first Italian who has tried to introduce me to their poetry, and considering the road ahead, surely not the last. There must be a true infatuation of poetry here for every other dreamer to have a poem in their hearts. We should talk to them and learn more. Reduces the cost of establishing refined poetry tradition by a thousand prestige. Or, oh, I would like to make an attempt. We gain the trait poet. Yeah, baby. We're now a poet. We didn't even know it. What the duck? The day on the road has been fairly calm and nondescript so far. We are somewhere outside Looney, and I close my eyes as my mount brings me forward one solid step at a time. As the wind plays a magnificent melody through the treetops, another noise is carried by the breeze, and not from our entourage. Is that quacking? I isolate the sound to be coming from a shrubbery on my right-hand side. That's a good omen. Duck quack for five years. Negative 10% stress gain. The quacking of a duck can have a remarkably soothing effect. Wow, wow, wow. Follow that duck. You follow the duck a while. Don't follow the duck, says Flatulent Llama. Follow Brave Man too. Follow the duck. Or ick, pesky fowl away. I like this, the reduced stress. Also, oh, we got to equip this, uh, this pilgrim's guide. The duck seems to always turn into a wolf. I don't think it's particularly brave to follow the duck. I feel like it's more maybe... Bizarre curiosity or foolishness. We're gonna go one. If we knew there was a wolf at the end, then we might do it because we're brave. Local here. Ah, yes. Okay. So this is the uh, the little shrine. We could cast down the heteroxy. Um, this would lower the cultural acceptance between the French and the Cisalpians, which I don't think I care about. This would gain us piety, and we would get the desecrated tomb for the clergy opinion boost. I think I'm going to go cast down the heteroxy. We just finished this pilgrimage. I'm feeling like. Extra Catholic today, right, from all this. So I think our character is going to be strict about things. We've got a lot of freaking piety kicking around. We visit, visited the walls of Genoa, gaining martial lifestyle experience and more uh, traveler experience. Okay, that's cool. Is this my traveler? Wanderer and seasoned. We visited the capital of the kingdom of Italy, gaining diplomacy experience. I've got a phone call from a number I don't recognize. Oh, Come on, hang up. There we go. 
And my phone says suspected spam, so we're definitely going to ignore that. A foreign treat. Oh, is it going to be pizza? Oh, wait. What? Oh, oh, they mean a different type of treat. Dang it. It's not the first time I catch my Marshall Payen fiddling around with some flowers he's been picking along the road. Sometimes I'd swear I even hear him singing or sighing, sorry, overlooking Monza's holding, watching the race. My liege, it's not a secret that my heart has found a new home, far from home. Alas, my soul aches for Ermengarde. My desires know no end, her eyes, her hair. I long for just a salute. I'd die for a word. Please, I beg you, let me stay with her. Well, we could go with option B and bring her with us instead. Who am I to interfere in such high matters? So, Payen would leave my court, join King Louis's court, or you're coming home with me and upset him. I have no time for such juvenile infatuations. Uh, intrigue challenge, 85% chance I just convince him to stay. If I fail, he just hates me. And then we have enough room in her, our court to welcome you both. So King Louis is going to be a little upset, but who cares about him? King of Italy. Not relevant to me. It'll burn off eventually. Let's take her... She sounds like she's going to be great fun at court. Let's bring her with us. There's enough to room in our court to welcome both of you. What? Why do we have so many crazy geniuses? I mean, I guess those two things go hand in hand, don't they? Oh, me and Roger have become friends. Our spy master. It worked. Much to my light, one of Roger's couriers has found me here in Bellinzona as my entourage and I make our way towards Lil. He cares good news for Roger wishes to formalize our friendship. I never. Oh, we're going steady. I never expected us to grow so close, but he's proven himself to be a reliable and forthright man with only my best interests at heart. Good. Now let's have make friends with our wife, who actually likes me a fair bit. But let's see if we can specifically become friends and, you know, maybe make babies at some point. That would be pretty useful. <clears throat> Quill never fails to find to always find the crazy ones. We can't seduce her. We failed at the seduction. It's on cooldown. Oh, we have her claims on the County of Gynes. Okay. Uh, see to it done. Maybe we can do something about that when we get back. Oh, we can ask her head of faith for gold. We're going to do this. Yeah, see, we're going to spend some of our piety to make money. Swabian women. Oh, now nah, this is the event I thought we were having last time. I have seen the world and beheld its many wonders in my travels, but never have I beheld such beauties as the ones I've seen in Nallenberg. Truly, Swabian women are cut above all the rest. Am I regressing to my, my parents' culture? You know, because we were Swabian, right? One particularly fascinating specimen has taken my eye as of late, a peasant woman by the name of Constance. A pretty little pet. She is far too pleasing to my eye to spend her days slaving away in Nellenberg. Well, we're married. To someone we kind of like. Alas, I cannot give my love so freely. Thanks for the money, bro. One suave Swabian. <laughs> yeah, and I'm on a pilgrimage and everything. Oh, it's the Metal Man. Truly, a stroll through Hockenheim is a gift from God. The tranquility of this place is suddenly and abruptly broken by the furious grunts and clattering of armor. Hark, get me out of this metal prison. My squire took offense at my manner, even going so far as to call me heartless and has abandoned me. He, tin man needs a heart. <clears throat> Whatever the strange man did could not have been enough to justify being stuck forever in his armor. I could, of course, have helped him, but is it truly worth it? Adolf the Heartless. So consider the army gone for a price. We get a weak hook and we get a little bit of money. Offer him loyal squires for his fealty. He could join our court. I don't think he's that strong. He'd be a better marshal than Payen. Maybe. Monza, Hockenheim, next Nuremberg and Spa, right? Exactly. We're making sure to visit all the race sections. We'll go to Barcelona. You know what? I think we can we can bring him on board. And uh, oh, he's my personal champion. I didn't realize that was happening. OK. And yeah, let's make him our marshal. There you go. Visited the capital of the Kingdom of East Francia. The latest correspondence, my liege, Duke Boudou, 
Made a mention of asking about a book he's recently read, as if the subject would interest me. Letters are supposed to be strictly diplomatic in their nature, but of course it's sometimes dipped in more personal. Oh, he wants to become friends with me. I'll humor him. He doesn't know that I'm going to depose him yet. <clears throat> so, latest letter included a whole passage about scholarship. No idea was this interested in such things. Might have started off as me just indulging him, but I might be in too deep to back out now. So, what about letters? Huh? Or can I do this? Recent correspondence, my leech has shown a shameful lack of understanding of scholarship, and even if I know that he's spouting nonsense, then it is bad. Oh, because mine's not great. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Gain a bunch of prestige and an opinion boost. Okay, no, that's fine. This house, more experience, get another perk. We can get more power to our befriend scheme. Yeah, okay, we'll go down the left-hand side now. That's fine. And we're not going to be much of a patriarch if we don't have kids. Finally! I guess as soon as we get home. Well, actually, we're not quite home yet. Oh, yeah, Halko, we should take a look at your status here. Erda's pregnant. Halko, oh no, Halko, you're only 15. So you're probably just about of age. Of travels to come, journeying through Cotre, uh, which is the um, the city over here in our realm, which is in Belgium in real life, I think, passed by a pe particular peculiar looking tent splayed open with its yet more peculiar looking occupants inside. Oh, it's the uh, the wise man stuff. Come in, oh mighty count. I can tell you have many miles to go and I can offer you a reading of your future travels for a modest price. Strange. I mean, we don't have that many miles to go. We're nearly home, but still. The strange man has piqued an interest in my entourage, but am I willing to pay for a reading? Five bucks! You could get a good omen, a bad omen. Come experience the future with me. So he would join us. Ah, uh, he is possessed. Or I'm not interested. It's a coin flip for a thing. Nah. Screw this guy. Pilgrimage return. We're back. We gained some travel experience. Regency ended. Oh, I have an alliance. Hmm. Now, if he were to die. Dang. Let's say if we were to die, I didn't realize we got a freaking alliance with you. That is annoying. <clears throat> ah, pilgrimage, exotic wares. <clears throat> Having carried my exotic wares all the way from Batico, I now need to decide what to do with them. Should I sell them at a profit or maybe keep them as gift for, for my next personal scheme? So we gain 30 bucks. We spent 15. It'd be wise to save them. We will get the opportunity to use the wares to increase the scheme power and success chance in your personal scheme. We could use it to help us befriend our wife. 30 bucks is a lot of money at this stage in the game. Let's do that. If I had the uh, the ability to seduce right now, if it wasn't on like a cooldown for like 10 years or something like that, then I would consider it. This is way too expensive. Had a 100% chance. No, I didn't. I don't know where you guys are getting the hundred percent chance. I don't think it. I don't think it was ever a hundred percent. It lowered. It was a hundred when it started. Was it? Really? I wonder why it went down. If anything, I wasn't saying it was a hundred. Now we have the the ten percent. And I don't think her opinion was any higher. I wonder what other modifier possibly could. You came home. Just waiting for Halko to come of age, and then we'll uh, arrange a marriage for him. Liege is in Regency. He might be traveling. You're saying he's in Regency? Oh, his Regency just ended, so maybe he was temporarily sick. 
my daughter and heir, who is a dwarf. Well, all right. My daughter and heir, the short but lovely Hena. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter, if not tall. Here's my past. As I cradle my newborn child, Kena, the ecstatic joy is mixed with sadness and a tinge of fear crawling up my spine. Were my parents cradling me like this before they both passed away while I was still young, leaving me alone? I mean, you're 14. You're, you know, you weren't like a baby. Is this a curse? Will the world rob my sweetest child of her parents as it did me? I promise I will not abandon you. I gain stress, but I gain parental determination, giving me a health boost. The world's a cruel place, my child. I lose stress. In God, I put my hope. I lose stress because I'm patient. I gain piety. I don't think I've got any stress currently. I think I'm going to go for a parental determination. All right, we got cash. Maybe we go. Oh, we have a guild hall. Hold on. I thought the city didn't have a holding, but no, it does. Okay. Befriend. Oh, bridging gaps. Been searching and searching, but Countess Berta and I seem to have absolutely nothing in common. Without any common ground, how do I even begin building a friendship? Redouble the efforts, gain stress, or we could give up. Or no, let's just lose progress. You know, redouble the efforts, scheme power plus 10. Let's do it. So now we should be at 96%. Still at 86%. Oh, wait, power isn't success chance. Power is the speed at which it develops. Now we have a million stress, but it's okay. We can uh, we can go on a hunt. Maybe burn off a little bit of stress. We haven't gone hunting yet. Or we feast. Or we go on another pilgrimage. We could hit all the holy sites one at a time. Kind of what, uh, hoping we can get our wife pregnant again, though. Hunt the boar that killed my father. That would be cool. Of all the buffoonery I've ever seen, in Evrar's inane efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good-for-nothing chancellor has officially acknowledged Count Rudolph's claim to the county of Boulogne. Oh, for crying out loud. Although we have, we do have an alliance with him. He's wounded. If you could just die, that would be very convenient. Oh, yeah, we have the boar's head in the plaque. That's right, he did die. got pregnant while we were away. Uh, maybe she was in our entourage. There we go. After a long thinking, I finally decided to invite Countess Berta to come on a tour one of my estates. The visit turned out to be an even better idea than expected. Not only Countess Berta offered unexpected insight into the matter of the estate, she also kept my mood bright the entire time. She's not only my wife, but my friend. Yay! Now we still have a cooldown, I think, for this seduce romance. So we can't do that. But we have a 100% relationship now. That's good. All right, with that in mind, let's consider a pilgrimage. We'll pious again. Santiago. If we go and land here, ooh, lots of danger. Maybe we land here, the diplomatic court. Oh, it switched it completely to overland. So I'm thinking there's no way to mix and match. You're either going by sea or by land. Well, you add another waypoint by sea. Oh, okay. Do I click here? No. Here? I click on like the coastal province? Nope. 
Mm. Hmm. I mean, wrong side of the trip. I was trying to hit there on the way there. Right? Leave Lil. I was hoping I would land here, pop into Oviedo, and then walk to Santiago. And then after we leave Santiago, just get back on the boat. Oh, well, maybe we just do the entire journey by trip, by, by ship. Can mix. It's a bit hard to choose two harbor regions. Yeah, I prefer water that way. Is it London on the way? Canterbury, these are all learning lifestyle stuff. Wow, you could walk all on the wall here for a tiny little bit of experience at every place. That's neat. Instead of Santiago, I went to Jerusalem. Mm, I don't know. That doesn't seem like a great idea. You know, we could just pop over to Cologne. It'd be short. Or, I mean, we could just visit Canterbury. As the destination. Maybe we just do that. You know, we'll keep the mercenary guards. Let's just do this. We'll visit every site. There's not much else to see here, but we are going to see this place for the learning lifestyle experience. That's fine. 40 days. Easy. What time is it? Oh, Jesus. About four. OK, well, we'll do this real quick and that'll be the end of the stream. We are going to be continuing this on Saturday, though. I'm really enjoying it and I'm happy to be spending a proper amount of time CK3 again. A little unhappy about what happened to our face, but, you know, what can you do, huh? There's only so much a man can pray Okay, with uh, without looking for other equally important ways to spend one's time and petty king Ethelred has a lovely residence that he so kindly allows me to visit. So this is the thing where we can snag uh, someone again. Louis over here. Sadistic, lustful, generous. Would be a pretty good knight. 21 prowess? I know, two hours already. He went fast. F it, let's do it. Can we get a hook on him? As I entered the sacred grounds, I found Lutold, uh, who is my court physician, staring at the altar with an absent expression. Lutold, I call him. My lord, he says unfazed, I have something to ask from you. I hope you can forgive me. This place has moved my soul and agitated my spirit in a way I thought inconceivable. God has spoken to me and his voice is clear, severe, precise. It keeps going and going and going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. The only sound I can hear now, the whole world has gone quiet. If I could stay behind, I would like to devote my life to it. Should we lose our court physician? He'd become a monk, become pious, leaves. I would gain some piety. Don't we have churches back home? So I'd gain less piety, but still some. He'd become celibate. Or drop that nine cents immediately, become my rival. I think I'm going to go option two. So he's still in my court. You know, we have, we have churches at home. It's like the meme. We have churches at home. Church at home. It's certainly not going to be like Canterbury, but, you know, deal with it. Indulging. Now you can go, child. I hear Aethelwine mutter when I enter the church. The pilgrim bows before leaving. And I can see the priest's hand glisten with gold. Ah, dear Count, do you also wish to absolve your sins? Pope Lucius has issued an order to grant indulgences to any pilgrims who's in Canterbury. For the right price, that is. Man, I wonder if someone's ever going to do something about this. The whole idea of absolving your sins by spending money seems crazy. But I do have a lot of stress. So your pilgrimage becomes more pious. Pay 25 gold. Gain 100 piety. And, oh, guy, this is my bishop. Would become my friend. Church at home, old broken down wooden shack. Hmm. It would be useful to get one for Cana. So, uh, okay, my bishop and Cana would become friends. Or how can one buy the entrance to heaven? 
Gaining diplomacy lifestyle experience. Being friends could be useful. Now, guy over here, my bishop. Oh, he's only 33. He's going to be around for a while. You know what? I think that's valuable. I think that's worth 25 bucks. Okay, we have a new friend, which means we're going to just get tons of stress as these people keep dying over and over, but you know. In the meantime, we will get the trait that reduces the amount of stress we gain per friend we have. <gasps> yeah, let's get a claim on Bruges. It'll give us more options. As our time at the sacred site draws to an end, I'm slightly concerned that I did not get the chance to prove my devoutness to God. I didn't even reach level one, but it was a short trip, as much as perhaps I would have liked. This being my second pilgrimage, I can't help but compare it to my previous visit to Vaticano in all its holiness. I'm also thrilled by the notion of having visited a new holy site. Kent, it has been an honor. Let's go home. And declare war. What? Why would I have to declare war on King Carloman of Lothringia when Bruges is in Flanders, which is part of West Francia? But yeah, also your marriage. How come we're not getting a pop-up about an unmarried family member? I guess it doesn't, unless it's your child, but it is our heir. Maybe it's because I'm not here and it's a Regency thing right now. Come back here. Travel. Oh no, Balder died! When he died of old age, behooves me to uh, choose someone else to leave my entourage. In fact, there are two who could easily fill Balder's shoes. Either my courtier, Louis, or Master Hunt, Payen, who would burst over me in a pinch. Oh, Payen is excellent, so I'll choose him. A duel demanded. I am brave, and brave equals stupid, doesn't it? I'm Bertrand of Gravelines. I've bested dozens of men in combat, and honestly, all, all those fights were dull. So here I am on this road looking for someone better than me, someone I can learn from. If you can best me in combat, I will become a valuable and loyal servant. And so on this day, I demand to meet one of you in a fair fight. So my prowess is still just a five. He is an 18. We get our ass kicked. But we could trample him. Only a 4% chance that we'd win. Or we can send an Ervard. Or Everard. Who... We, yeah, alright. He's 40% chance to get it. Let's give it a try. Bertrand wins the fight. Everard has gained wounded. Well, we're back home. Is my wife pregnant again? Not this time. So now this happened. Do we get a, a pop-up reminder that we can... No. I guess I can go arrange marriage there. Do I not get the, the button here for arrange marriage? Wait, are you are you not one of my courtiers? No, that's why he's not in my court. Why don't you come home, brother? Come home. I'm sorry I took your land. There we go. So first of all, he's back at court. Now, there we go. We can arrange marriage and we can pick whomever. Ah, oh, she's chaste. Dang it. Forgiving, content, intelligent. What a great spouse this person would be. But we kind of need more dynasty members. Now, I mean, this doesn't preclude anything from happening, but it's not going to help. Yeah, Helka, we'll find you someone really nice. Um, So we do have a filter for genetic traits, which I think is probably what we're looking for. Well, should I maybe look for alliances? I mean, why not both? But if I reset to default and I stress, sort by alliance power, yeah, it's still just going to be county level stuff. So not actually that helpful. Okay. So again, um, I will put a maximum age of 25 for you. And ideally an inheritable trait would be nice. And I guess we'll just sort by overall relevance. What about Asonia? She's only a year older than you are. Arrogant, brave, greedy, pretty, Italian. Maya is robust, humble, compassionate, eccentric. Yeah, Telco, what, what do you think? Where would you, where do you, what are you thinking here? 
We could also set a betrothal, like with someone like Nunya, for example, who's 12, right? In four years, she'll come of age and they'll get married. We don't know what all her traits will be yet, though. So I don't tend to like doing that. Uh, this one is wearing a cool face mask. People with face masks are cool. I'm just saying. Maybe Trudy is your match. I... I really wish Isabel wasn't chased. So I'm wondering about Othania over here. Halko picks Maya. Maya over here. Eccentric, compassionate, humble, robust. She's not Catholic, though. I don't know. You know, do we approve of this? Orthodox. But you said, and you know, I do feel bad that I took away your title. Let's let's go and set this up. Sure. Yeah, maybe we can convert her. Let's put a little pin here for a sec. There we go. We convert convince her. Demand conversion. May continue to practice it in secret. Only 29% chance. We'll try. Did it? Did it go? No, she refused. That's a shame. Um, we could improve our befriend scheme power, but maybe I'm, I'm going to swing back over to heart of the family here for close family opinion. You know, trying to mend bridges here with Halco. And honestly, it's doing OK. It's doing OK. We'll do that. All right. We are going to wrap up today's stream. This has been so much fun. Uh, hold. Oh, dang it. We just ran out of snoozes. I got one minute before the ad break starts. So let's talk fast. Thank you, everyone who came out today. Much appreciated. And everyone who followed and everyone who subbed and resubscribed. That is really appreciated. We're going to continue this on Saturday. For now, we're going to go and raid a Kiss for Lux channel. What is she playing today? Trying to get this before the ad break starts. Uh, she's on character creation for something called Writer's Rush? Just some sort of game about being a writer, I guess. That looks like fun. Let's raid her, give her some love, and I'll see you on Saturday. Bye-bye, everyone.